WordPress custom fields give you a way to add specific elements to pages. It might be an image, author bio, maybe a rating, or even something like mood. These fields make up what is called metadata for your post. By default, WordPress has meta boxes for generic info like tags, categories, permalink, featured images, etc. If you want to add more, you'll be using custom fields. Out of the box, WordPress custom fields are disabled. If you're using the block editor, it's easy to enable them. Just click on the three dots in the top right corner, select options, and at the bottom here, enable custom fields. Now you'll have to reload the page, so just click enable and reload. And now we can see here at the bottom, the custom fields are now available. Although these are incredibly powerful, the default ones are limited to a text value. You could dive into the code yourself, but luckily there are plugins that do the work for you. We highly suggest using the advanced custom fields plugin. So go ahead and install, activate, and check out the brand new custom fields tab. As we can see, we have three different options. Fields group can be thought of as sets. Anything you wanna show up in the same box you will include in the same group. Add new will let you add both a new group and a new custom field. While tools is where you go to import and export different existing sets of custom fields from other WordPress sites. Creating the fields himself is pretty straightforward. Let's click on add new. No matter what, ACF custom fields will be included in a field group. You can name it whatever you want it to appear as in the post editor. Each time you want to add an individual entry to the group, you will click the add field button. Do this each time you want a different field in the same meta box. The location rules determine where and when the box will appear. In this example, since post type is equal to post, that means it will only appear on posts, not pages or other custom post types. Next, as we scroll down, we'll get into the settings. This is basically where you choose your placement as well as the placement for the text and fields themselves. Once you have named your field group, you can click the add field button. You can have any number of fields within the same group, but make sure to keep them all related to one another. For this example, let's pretend we're running a pop culture WordPress site that looks at movies and we want custom fields to show a rating, to list whether the movie is streaming, and if so, where to find it. These would all be under the same field group, but different fields. As you can see, the is it streaming field is set up to be a radio button with a yes or no selector that is required before publication. Additionally, we want a conditional field to show up if the field is marked as yes. This is done by simply going and selecting add field. Now that we've created this next field, we'll enable conditional logic by pressing on the button. If the field is it streaming is equal to yes, then we want this field to show up. Now we're in the post editor and our custom fields look like this. Now I can just fill it out real quick and we're all set. But if I was to select no for is it streaming, I lose the option to fill out where it would have been streaming. Now let's go ahead and publish our post. So technically the metadata we entered is a part of this post, but you can't see it and neither can your visitors. One way to display custom fields on the front end is the built-in ACF shortcodes. While there is no customizer or builder, you can use the following shortcode for text fields only. But again, this is limited to text fields. You could follow their documentation and use PHP or upgrade to ACF Pro to get the built-in Gutenberg block, but many themes come packed with custom field integrations and we'll show you how that's handled in Divi. All right, so we're gonna use Divi's dynamic content feature. It's really super easy to use, and we're currently inside the Divi theme builder. So to get started, we're gonna add a new module. Just scroll on down here, and I'll select text. Now I'm gonna hover over the text box and click on the icon that appears, which is for dynamic content. And here at the bottom, we can see all of our custom fields we just created. I'll go ahead and click on the first one. Divi gives you the option to basically add before and after labels to your field content. And we want ours to read naturally as part of the post. So we're gonna add it to the before and we're also going to add a trailing space. Since you can only have one piece of dynamic content per module area, 
repeat this process for other fields. Note that even though the custom field is conditional, the Divi module is not. So if you use a before or after label on a conditional field, you'll still see that label. If you leave them blank, then no value will render at all. Additionally, you can enable the raw HTML option if you want to allow any code you put in the ACF field to render, such as links to various platforms, etc. But there you go, that's our Avengers review. It received a score of seven, it's available to stream online, and it shows where you can stream it. And that was all done using custom fields. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.